Hello everyone, Kenji Tiger here with Bengali Engineering and Play. We are uh, back in Space Engineers and uh, what I thought we'd do today is do another refit. I'm kind of having fun with these. Um, so here's what we're going to do. So I was playing around in the uh, Enhanced Exploration mod and uh, it just has a variety of just different ships and vessels out there. So uh, one of them was this, uh, it's a small, uh, it's called a drone carrier or drone cargo. Let me look what it says. Yes, cargo drone, uh, HS cargo drone. Um, and I found it, uh, I think it actually bounced off the side of this uh, asteroid here that you can see in the, uh, in the thumbnail. Uh, so when I uh, blueprinted it, I called it damaged and I figured I would go back and, uh, and play with it later. Uh, and I did, in fact, do that. Uh, this was one of my underway projects. Um, so I took uh, this uh, little drone freighter, I turned it into a manned freighter, uh, although it does have remote capabilities, uh, and, uh, and came up with this. So uh, a couple things that you can see right off the bat. Uh, so this drone uh, freighter uh, was not armed. So this is the uh, the damage. There's actually quite a bit of damage. Well, I mean, relatively speaking. Um, so uh, towards the center here, you can see some down at the bottom and the back. Uh, so underneath has some uh, damage. Um, quite a bit of damage on this corner here to the point where I have absolutely no idea what was there. Um, this was ion powered. So obviously it's only going to go in space. Uh, has some uh, some stuff here, although I don't know what the uh, LCD actually did. Uh, I guess we can look at that and see if it was actually uh, configured to something. Uh, Alt debug. Selected textures. No, no textures selected or anything. So I have no idea what that uh, what that might have been, uh, and uh, possibly what the other one over here might have been. Um, obviously some, uh, some add-on cargo capabilities, so uh, a uh, cargo set on the side here uh, with uh, merge blocks, so probably something expandable, um, and then uh, some large uh, ion thrusters and whatnot back here. So uh, overall, I thought it was a, a really neat design. I like the block work, the, uh, the little skeleton structure here. Um, so I did a slightly different version, as you can see. Uh, it is uh, a little bit larger um, and hydrogen thrusters was the, uh, was the other uh, aspect. Um, and uh, I actually put reactors in the front, which you can see here. So uh, I, I kept with the same um, large small ship cargo containers, uh, but I did uh, I did change uh, an awful lot of things. Uh, as you can see, it's jump capable. So these are the mini jump drives uh, back here. So this thing is jump capable now. Uh, obviously, a uh, a gas generator back here, uh, and there may in fact be a small. Uh, nope, I guess not. Um, there's, there's got to be a hydrogen tank somewhere. I have no idea where though. Might be, might be under there. Um, so, um, as you can see from the two different designs, uh, removed the side, uh, you know, extra coupling type uh, apparatus from the side, uh, both sides. And uh, instead of having uh, two top, and I believe there were two on the bottom. Nope, just, uh, just thrusters down there. Um, so uh, in the end, we went from uh, two top and two side uh, to one top and one bottom on here. Uh, I don't think, no, I did not put landing gear on it either. Uh, but in any case, uh, entirely hydrogen uh, powered. And what is the issue here? I have a small, a small reactor or a medium reactor there. Uh, 
Oh, actually, because I revs this and it's survival, so there is no, uh, there is no, is that really just small, maybe just small reactors down the center there, and then, uh, the reactors here, because there are two large reactors, which are lit green, so, hmm, anyway, um, so anyway, this was the design I came up with uh, previously. Uh, as you can tell, this is uh, modded by quite a bit, uh, including uh, we did some additions here on the front. Uh, so actually, uh, Whip's Artificial Horizon here and uh, M Master's uh, LCD uh, automatic LCDs are all here. Um, now heavily armed, so it has the four Gatling turrets around the outside, uh, as well as a plethora of uh, fixed mount Gatling on the front. So uh, this can definitely, uh, definitely carry some cargo and protect said cargo. So uh, anyway, we won't be nearly as extravagant. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, and delete this one. Um, so the intention here is to uh, remain uh, vanilla um, and then do the repairs and refitting of this thing and I don't know how much refitting we will do uh, although um, I'm not seeing much power capability figure out what the red thing is here um, hmm, go up to the center nope can't see anything there either um, so, uh, anyway, just figuring out what everything is here uh, might actually uh, just because uh, destroy, uh, grind down, as, as it were, uh, the large cargo containers. And uh, so when I actually go back through and replace those, um, then they'll be the same, but it will give me the opportunity to actually uh, get in here and work down the center of this thing without destroying the frame. So uh, the concept there would be uh, I would still be able to uh, rebuild, uh, but have the room to work. Um, and I I like the frame, but uh, I think in a dare I say real environment um, I don't really care for uh, these not being connected onto the outside so one of the things I would do is increase this skeleton frame uh, to actually connect up and then this outside becomes another structural element instead of just a side mount element for these things because um, right now it really does nothing for uh, the center line of the ship uh, I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Because it does connect onto these, then it is a, a weight-bearing, stress-bearing uh, member of the chassis. Uh, but, so, anyway, um, why not increase that, fully connect everything on, and then it truly is part of the structure instead of uh, two or really four independent, because there's one on the bottom. Um, you know, four independent structures here that are holding this ship together uh, using the cargo containers as as the connection points on there and because cargo containers were really not meant uh, all things considered uh, as structural components uh, then we're going to change that a little bit so uh, I think these are all light armor blocks so all right so uh, the starting here is I need to get myself into uh, uh, regular uh, survival mode. Uh, one of the things that I did not do was res in my uh, my container. Uh, so actually, let me go find that real quick and turn that back on uh, because I've forgotten to uh, forgotten to do that ahead of time. Uh, and I have to find it. So give me just a moment here to. get myself coordinated and find the uh, hmm. uh -oh.
Hmm. I seem to have lost. Lost my little miner. That's that's what I get for having 800 different folders for everything. Is not knowing exactly where it is. There we go. Uh, remembering what it's called, on the other hand, is another issue entirely. All right, so um, this is actually called a cargo receiver um, because ultimately it was set up um, to do uh, cargo and mining. So uh, I'm going to flip this around and get it uh, somewhat set up. So uh, we've seen this miner before, obviously, if you uh, followed through my uh, kind of survival uh, in character RP survival type series. Uh, this is the miner uh, that was that was built, uh, not for that series. It was built ahead of time. But uh, so this is uh, just a very simple uh, kind of temporary storage uh, block. So battery reactor. Uh, it's this thing looks like a uh, an ore detector. It's actually I took this and turned it into an antenna. Uh, and the reason I did that, this is part of my uh, my block mod, my mods. Uh, the reason I did that was because the the keen antenna is is great when you're building a big ship or a station or something like that. But when you want something smaller, but it's still a large block structure, uh, having that two by one by five uh, antenna is really inconvenient. So in this case this is a obviously one by one by two. Um, so a collector over here uh, so you can uh, dump stuff into it. Um, the uh, cargo teleporter here, cargo transporter teleporter, I think it's a teleporter is what it's called uh, from Paycast. Paycast, I'm, I'm not sure how they pronounce their name. Not supported anymore but still appears to work. Uh, and then a, uh, a Kenti Elsewhere container here. So just a massive, uh, I, I consider it like a dimensional container. Uh, so that's also out of my mod, but basically infinite storage space. Um, all in that single little uh, block from hell. Um, the, I'll, I'll make a statement and I have not verified this as of late but this used to be at the game limit so that the the cargo space was a particular uh, size of of an integer uh, to determine the space and uh, or maybe it was a, uh, a real number um, but uh, in any case it it was uh, uh, about nine uh, trillion liters, uh, 9.2 something trillion liters, uh, was the the physical game limit. If, if you went over that, um, things would break. <laughs> things, things would do very strange uh, things. Um, so uh, the, this was set to just under the, the breaking limit. Um, so you have a single block that can ultimately store more than you could possibly throw at it. Uh, and this has been just my collector. This is where everything goes. So you can see there's quite a, quite a few uh, things in here for use. Um, but uh, and the reactor stealing, uh, yeah, stealing uh, uranium. Um, so yeah, there is ice in here. Uh, so really just everything you need to uh, to build anything uh, including quite a bit of uh, of ingots there all right so uh, having said all that let me go ahead and turn uh, space master off so we can build uh, for real uh, let me get uh, my bar all set up here darn it uh, control eight G I'm confusing myself here um, So ultimately we need a large container because we're going to replace those containers. Um, we're working with small stuff so I need this uh, small conveyor here. Um, I do not know 
whether the gyros are still there or not so we're going to go ahead and bring a gyroscope down uh, we may or may not need the small reactors um, and uh, I like um, the possibility of putting solar panels on for uh, for spare power um, this is using ion thrusters um, so what I need to do is find uh, the various ion thrusters which look like they are here because uh, I may um, add some more on to those don't know yet but uh, but we'll see um, actually that is already part of part of things all right so uh, having said all that we'll uh, we'll get our well we might actually just use the original colors here um, oop, the only other thing I need to do is put my tool to character tools that didn't work out so well. Um, so I have my uh, welder. Uh, we're going to use a, uh, a basic grinder because I tend to, uh, unfortunately, um, grind more than I want to grind. So having said that, let's uh, we'll start in the repairs. I suppose. Uh, so the other reason I can use this, uh, excuse my phone. Um, whoops. I don't want to do that. Uh, so get, get myself up to a hundred. Sorry, give me a few minutes here. I've got a uh, phone call coming in. Alright, sorry for the delay there. Um, Alright, so I uh, got some got some power again, so that kind of the miner there is serving a dual dual function miner, uh, so it can do mining and, and charge the uh, batteries up here. Alright, so uh, we're just doing some uh, some basic repairs, uh, which is really what the uh, the whole point of this particular evolution was all about. Um, so most everything is is pretty decent here um, we got some uh, some damage underneath here I uh, don't know quite how extensive that damage is apparently not much on this side uh, thrusters all right and then we have Oh, a bunch of damage up here. Uh, even to the point where I, I actually don't know what all was up here. Um, I'm not sure there's any way to tell uh, other than mirroring uh, what is on the other side here. Uh, which may actually be wise for us to do here um, and clearly we took quite a bit of damage on the inside here um, all right so looks like we 
fixed most of the damage up here. Let's swing around to the front. See what we got. There was some down here, but we might have already fixed all that. Yep, looks like we're pretty good to go down here. Alright, so the frame, at least what portions of the frame is left, uh, appears to be figure out how this is set up. So, huh. given these two blocks here, this cannot be mirrored because this goes right into the container here with a large uh, large conveyor system. Uh, well, you know what? That is this block. Nope, because this whole assembly is not here. So, I don't know what was here. Um, so what we're going to do uh, is take off uh, some pieces here, um, mostly so we can gain access or a little bit easier access. Uh, and that one was not what I wanted to do, so we'll weld that one back up. Um, But I want to, that was not what I wanted in there, eight, how about, um, oh, which perhaps uh, I should have made sure this was empty. Something, something there. I don't know what, what all that was. Um, all right. So let me. Uh, I, I need to do something similar on this side, but I don't want to lose uh, what's here. So I have to find a good, uh, good entry point. Um, which does not damage uh, anything here irreparably. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is add in uh, some uh, temporary stuff. Uh, so we'll add a uh, just an extended piece out here that will connect on to this. Um, so there's a, uh, a, a mount point which will keep this whole section attached just in case it comes detached here. Uh, and then I will go through these four blocks here, uh, upper and lower, to get in on this side. So, uh, having said that, we'll take these blocks. Oh, darn. There's always the, the challenge of uh, not grinding too much. enough to, uh, to grind this container and 
see if there is anything top or bottom that uh, I see nothing. Alright, so uh, entry into the chassis right here. Uh, nothing there, so we'll grind that one down. out a bunch of stuff in here including some nice precision rifles uh, and then grind that one down uh, that's where that one came from on the other side I didn't even see that Make sure we did not damage anything in the process of that coming loose, which looks like we did not. Alright, and then uh, come back here for the aft ones. More parts and pieces, including an elite rifle. So, this ship as it was blueprinted was, was all original. I didn't do anything to it. Uh, it was literally just uh, blueprinted from uh, from finding it. So the derelict was there. Mm. All right. So uh, some of the challenges that uh, that we can face here, and uh, we have to decide whether we're keeping the ion thrusters. Obviously, that would uh, make this a very streamlined process. Uh, simple, simple. Uh, we have a programmable block here. Uh, edit. What is it doing? It is doing nothing. Um, programmable block AI flee. Okay, so I don't know what the. Uh, connector merge block one and two. Gyroscopes. So there are apparently four gyroscopes here, which I do see here. Uh, I don't know if those are adequate. And we have two batteries and a whole lot of blank space, including uh, ion thrusters here. So actually, let me switch over to my welder because then I can still see the information, but I don't have the risk of oopsing and uh, and breaking those. Um, all right. So a couple of the things that I would really like to do, um, we have um, is four gyros adequate and I really have no idea so I would really like to put more gyros in uh, my my version is is the more the better my my attitude um, so um, we're gonna do that uh, one two uh, that's gonna go, go down a little bit so it'll go in there those facing the right way. That was not what I wanted. All right. Oops. So let me get uh, out of here. Shift to the other side and in on this side. We have this uh, floating gyro here. Uh, shift over to the welder, which is really to say shift to the gyro, which I want to place here, but I want it mounted here, and then uh, we'll try and be consistent. Okay, so around the batteries here. Uh, we have this kind of blank space in the front uh, where the timer blocks and the uh, uh, programmable block are here. Um, what I want to do is see if I can locate, there should be a remote control block somewhere, which uh, may or may not be under this camera. No, it does not appear as though it is. Uh, ion thrusters. So let's see if we can figure out where that is. So the gyroscopes are incomplete. We have a programmable block. Uh, timer flee. Uh, 
All right, we do not apparently have a remote control block, so uh, we can add that in. And uh, this forward section here, I think, is a great place for that. Uh, so let me uh, let me go ahead and add that onto uh, here we go um, onto the uh, the world here. So uh, this is actually facing the correct way. So we're going to, uh, I think, uh, maintain. Hmm, I'm not sure what the uh, what the colors here are. So let me go ahead and do a, a shift P. It was the darker one, and uh, I went put that remote control block right there. All right, um, I don't have any idea of what stuff I have. Apparently, I do have enough uh, to do that. And uh, let's start welding up our gyros. Gyro, gyro. Um, let's see if I can reach across. Gyro and gyro. Yes, I do have. And I see some damage over there that I may or may not have caused. Uh, see if there is any damage in the chassis here while I am in. Definitely damage here. All right. And we'll go back in on this side. And start repairing the damage. I have no idea where this uh, this damage came from whether that was the removal of uh, removal of that uh, cargo container with the uh, camera still attached or not um, all right so now one of the issues is power so uh, we've got a couple options here. Uh, we have a four wide block here. Um, and uh, we have, so batteries are three by three by two. Um, so battery obviously is, uh, is in here. Um, so what I was thinking is, uh, do we want to add another battery uh, here? So there would be a, a one gap here, or do we, uh, okay, that's an ion thruster, so we can't, uh, we don't want to go in right there. Um, but we could uh, take out these three blocks and add another battery set just like we have here uh, and we could do the same thing forward so there is an ion thruster there uh, which means these three here uh, would then give us space to put another battery set here um, and then I have some ideas for uh, for adding in uh, reactors onto these blocks here. So basically three small reactors here. Uh, so it does look like this ship was entirely uh, battery powered. So with the batteries, uh, and I don't know if the batteries are, are on, off, uh, or what they are. They are turned off. Uh, so what we could in fact do is turn them on uh, which lit up this whole thing yeah, and they're actually quite a bit of charge um, and then uh, in fact add uh, four more batteries um, so then the reactors in this case would just be for charging and sitting doing nothing basically so, having said that, let's uh, let's go ahead and grind the uh, the spaces out that we need. Uh, so there's that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and 
just a hair more to reach across and hit that one. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing back here uh, in the same position. So we want to avoid taking out that ion thruster that's right up there at the top. So one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, and then three over here. And with that, we can put the batteries in. Now, having said that, uh, what I would really like to do is put in um, reactors. So the question is, do we want to put in a bunch of reactors so this thing could actually be powered by reactors? Or uh, are we gonna be a little more conservative and we can put actually six on this one because I may be able to reach there, um, which would add uh, six back here and then three in the front because the three in the front, uh, the front front, are uh, not accessible because there are uh, actually ion thrusters there. Um, so technically we could put nine small reactors in or if we wanted to just maintain uh, kind of the status quo then we put three here. Or I could put conveyors on here, conveyor junctions on here, and then put three up top and two on the bottom, and then do the same thing up front, which would be actually 10 small reactors, which is quite a bit of power. Uh, I think these are like five kilowatts each, maybe two, two kilowatts each. Um, so 10, I don't know. Uh, obviously, if the batteries were trying to charge, uh, then it's going to suck everything out of all these little reactors and it wouldn't really matter how many you have, um, especially with six batteries. So uh, my, uh, my normal building style would be to have a uh, conveyor junctions uh, in here and then put uh, reactors, that not, not gyroscopes, reactors. Reactors, there we go. Um, uh, which would be uh, reactor, 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 and then uh, reactor, and if I can reach it, uh, no, cannot. Uh, would be a reactor uh, right there. Can't reach it. Um, so taking up the same. Uh, effective space because obviously that's going to be one reactor wide but not wasting this top and bottom space so basically connecting all five of those uh, reactors in uh, so let's, uh, let's see if we have metal grid we need metal grid uh, so um, being as we are in here already um, do one, two, three, and then uh, do our reactors. So let me see if I can get that one in there. There's that one, there's that one. Uh, we'll flip that over and do one, two, and three. Okay, so that is our ten reactors. I need to go get metal grids, uh, which means I'll go up here and I might as well uh, recharge while I'm here. Take a moment to uh, to recharge. All right, then go down and pull in a bunch of metal grids. Metal grids. So let's pull in about uh, 200 of those. Um, while I'm here, let me go ahead and get rid of just the bunch of gibberish here. Uh, for those of you who can't tell, I've been collecting all the new uh, parachute uh, containers as they go along. Uh, so they said there's 33 different sets, and I don't know what all those different sets are. Um, but uh, I discovered there was an a leopard one. And uh, so I, I'm got to go after the leopard one. Uh, I've got this thing with leopards. Um, so and that's a that's a story for later. Uh, probably would uh, most people would find it totally amazing, but uh, 
All right, uh, let me jump back in here. We're kind of on the opposite side here, but uh, pull out my welder, which is in slot seven, and reactor components. Of course, of course. Okay, so let me let me just set, uh, make sure uh, Space Master is turned off. Uh, this is going to, so you see the, uh, so I've got easy inventory here, um, and it's at a small reactor, but when I touch onto this cargo container, because the cargo container, even though it's a small container, is a large grid small container, so it, it automatically bloop up to the big uh, container, and then I'm going to do the right click, and uh, it will pull in all the parts I need for uh, the reactors. So that's uh, not exactly what I needed, but it still pulls in plenty of parts. Uh, so I can uh, hopefully weld all these darn things up. All right, so select uh, number seven again and weld, 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 and that side. All right, so uh, those uh, five up there done. So, um, with that all done, so we don't really need, um, I think we are sufficient with gyros. Um, we have eight gyros now, which, uh, which may or may not be adequate for everything we're doing. Um, so, let us um, go back over here. Uh, I'm going to, this is actually a Kenti battery, but it will uh, suffice uh, with what I'm doing here. Five. Because um, obviously we need a whole lot more parts for that battery than we do for, uh, for the others. All right. So back into our G menu, uh, we grab our battery. And the battery is going to take the place of, I think we're done with gyros, so that can go away. Uh, we're done with small reactors uh, and the remote control. So I don't think we need any of those anymore. Um, okay, we'll go to the back first. And uh, huh, I see, why is it every time you come back you see something here? that we missed before. All right. Um, so, battery. Battery. And I want to match the way these are kind of semi-facing forward. Uh, so, battery number one is there. And uh, battery number two, I guess we're just going to have to figure out how to put it up right there. And battery number two. Uh, and then we'll try and get battery uh, number three. All right, so it is forward here. Uh, battery number three. And get it all lined up. Battery number four. And uh, we should have all the components we need to weld these guys up. Sure enough. Uh, and weld up. Weld up. All right. So uh, that is pretty much the center line here. So we have quite a bit more power than we did before. We also have re reactor power capability, which we did not before. So a couple of refit and additions to everything. Now we have to figure out how to get, uh, because I think we're really done in here unless we want to add more. Uh, now, why we would need to add more? Um, we do have some space back here, uh, so in fact, looking at it, we could add, um, in fact, another battery back here if we really wanted to. We turn this up on end, and then we would have a battery in the back. So uh, because I don't like uh, space that's wasted, uh, I think I will add another battery back there, just because. Um, 
And even though we could probably do something now where I'm building this, you know, for me, uh, contingency planning and over engineering, I'd actually put another five reactors uh, here. Um, and uh, because these are not connected uh, as far as the conveyors go. Uh, and no real way to connect them in. This is, again, just kind of uh, space that's that's a bit wasted. Um, can't think of anything else that we could do here other than uh, I need an antenna on this little guy. So let's go ahead and put an antenna in here. Uh, spin it like this. All right, so there is an antenna now that goes in here and of course small steel tubes and well here's what we'll do uh, we will grab all the components we need by selecting number four uh, bouncing over here and right click and then come back in here uh, actually we just need our welder and then uh, there we go Antenna done. So uh, we needed an antenna on here. Obviously, we put a remote control, so uh, we can't do anything with the remote control if we don't have an antenna, uh, because we would have no way to communicate with uh, with our little ship here. All right, and then out we go. All right. So uh, currently, we uh, we look like our frame is not too bad. I'm going to add on to the skeleton frame. Uh, after the fact, so I'm going to get the uh, uh, I'm going to get the cargo containers back in here. Uh, so the trick is figuring out exactly how these need to be. Uh, now, one thing to remember about the large cargo containers is uh, so we see the the one here. I'm going to spin these around. You can see that there are three and three. So there's one, two, three small ports, and uh, I'm going to spin up now so we have the one there, one there, and one there. Okay, So we kind of have to put all these in the correct way. Um, so uh, having said that, uh, we have to have these end to end. In this case, uh, I want it to attach on back here. Uh, so in this case, uh, that side port has to be connected. Hmm. So we actually want it this way. Um, so as I was spinning, obviously when it locked into the, the snap-in grid, uh, it was different. So right now, if everything, all things being equal, there's a port obviously facing me, there's a port going into that conveyor junction on the side, and then there's a port aft. So we're gonna we're gonna put this in as it is. Um, although this was a dark gray um, when it was in here before, so we're gonna do that again. Um, I'm going to back off one, and we're gonna put that in exactly the same way. Uh, we're going to reverse this 180 degrees. So. We're just going to connect so that port is connected onto the connector on the outside. Uh, and then we're going to reverse again so that port is in. And then the final one, because we want that to connect up here, uh, is going to be again reversed. So, which is to say remaining in the same way. All right, so there are our five large containers. And we're going to do the same thing on this side in the same fashion, but of course reversed. So, large container. We have to uh, make sure we know which direction these are. So, all things being equal, it should be identical to the last setting. So, there's a small, that should be a large, a large, and a large, right? So, let's flip this back so we have a large on the back. On the aft, we have a large forward here facing me, and then one butting up against that uh, conveyor junction there in the center, which is exactly what we want. So, click. 
Uh, the next one is going to be identical, which is this here. Um, the, uh, the next one is going to be 180 degrees reversed, so we have the port, uh, in this case, to the port, so it hooks up to that, uh, that connector. Um, then we are going to reverse again, so we are back to our norm. Uh, put that one in there, and then uh, this one uh, in the same way. So it is connecting aft to the cargo container aft. It's connecting to the center line uh, where that junction, uh, the, uh, the conveyor junction is. And then it's connecting forward uh, onto this conveyor assembly here. All right, so that is our 10 large containers, which actually makes this a pretty big cargo carrier for a small ship. All right, and we will see what kind of stuff we need. There's that one. I might just have enough gibberish in my inventory to make this all. Oh, it turned green. That's always a good thing. So strangely enough, the ones on the outside over on the port side did not so we have a, oh, large, I need displays. Why do you need a display on a cargo container? I do not understand. So one. Uh, not sure why you need a display on a cargo container, but okay. There we go. Okay, so all built. 100%, 100%. All right. So, uh, interestingly enough, uh, the merge blocks are ready on this side, and uh, the connector is ready. Uh, everything on this side. Oh, that. Uh, oh, darn. I did not properly secure that on there. Um, but these are, these two merge blocks are red. So they are either turned off or have no power. So all my batteries, let's go ahead and say batteries uh, and do a group for those. Get those off my, uh, off my little world here. We're going to call this gyro one because there's no need to have two. And there are indeed eight gyros, so we're going to call this gyros with a D on the end. Uh, and turn that off. And we have our large containers. Uh, let me see. I guess I could have renumbered these if I really uh, get the OCD going here. Uh, 03. Uh, this is 04. Just because we're going to go ahead and call these containers, do a save, and uh, we do need the inventory, so we'll leave that alone. All right, so I'm uh, not sure what the P merge block versus the other merge block, SB merge block. Um, so uh, which is off. So I'm presuming P was for port, so somebody actually knew a little bit about, uh, and I'm going to call this uh, port A and port B, and together we will call these uh, merge blocks uh, port. And we're going to turn those off, uh, but merge block port, we're going to turn them on. And you see they did just 
switch over to white. All right, uh, so we have starboard um, port connector. So um, this is another. How about port? Um, this is another OCD thing. So I lock all my connectors to say connector. So they'll be grouped together. Now that everything is alphabetical in the list, um, I do connector because that's what it is. And then I do a dash or something uh, and then title it. So in this case, it's connector port. Uh, and the reason I do that is uh, like this. Um, so uh, get rid of that dash and top rear. Um, so now we have these will be sitting there next to each other. Um, we'll do the same thing here. Dash and front top. Um, let me see. So this is starboard connector. So let's go ahead and carry that one starboard. Uh, and in this case, these are merge block. Uh, and I think I did STB A and starboard B. And then we'll do the same uh, convention here, uh, merge blocks. Starboard. Uh, and then we can turn these guys off there. So now we have merge blocks port, merge blocks starboard. We have connector, port and starboard, and front top, rear top. Um, and my guess is that we have... Well, I guess we don't have any on the bottom. Never mind. Uh, so, antenna. Uh, so this is, if I remember, HS uh, cargo drone. Uh, and I'm not going to designate with repaired uh, just because I have the other one designated as broken. Uh, so let's go ahead and... oh, damage, sorry. Yes, damage. So let's go ahead and remove that here, HS Cargo Drone. Do a save. Alright, so uh, starting to take shape here, looks like the aft portion here is all repaired. The starboard portion here is all repaired except for this front half and we still kind of have to figure out, okay, what the heck are we going to do here? Um, so, my piece is drifting way over here, so let me go ahead and grab that. Um, hmm, actually, I have no way to grab that uh, without turning the Space Master on. So uh, that is a combination of uh, corner blocks, which is to say inverted corners and corner blocks with a half block there. And then a large, uh, oops, all right, so grinding. Grinding is all we can do here. Uh, so. So, uh, to rebuild this thing, um, and to understand exactly where it was, uh, there were, I believe, four blocks in here. we got to get back onto the right color, which I think was that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we would be an inverted corner. Oops, spun it wrong. Okay, inverted corner, and this would be exactly the opposite of that. Um, then, uh, okay, it is going to let me place that there. Darn it, and that was correct. Uh, and then 
corner. So a corner, a corner, corner, and corner. And then we have a half block, uh, the other, that. Um, yeah, I guess it was this way, wasn't it? Um, but it was a dark color, so change the coloring there, uh, and then we had a, no, I've got LCDs here somewhere, um, LCD panel, which would get the right way, but is the wide LCD panel, which was right there. Okay, and that does look like it fits in there pretty well. All right, so uh, we get back onto my toolbar number eight, select up my uh, my welder, and see if I actually have all the different uh, pieces I need to weld. Yes, indeedy. Weld all this up. Okay, not bad. So now we have reattached that which we oopsed and uh, and broke. Okay, so uh, we need our grinder. Now that everything is good, then we can uh, get rid of all of these pieces here that we no longer have a need for. Uh, we have the camera there. We have the camera there, which is the docking uh, for this connector, I'm, I'm presuming. Um, now we just have to figure out what was here and, and I truly have no idea what uh, what this might have been so we have two ion thrusters there uh, we have spotlights so we can see there was a spotlight here uh, so we can duplicate and put the spotlight back so uh, G grab a spotlight here. Um, we're done with cargo containers, so I'm going to go ahead and put the spotlight there. Uh, I want to maintain the direction of the uh, uh, laterals there. Uh, is that, do I have it on dark? Yes, I do. I oopsed. So we'll change that. Okay, uh, seven. We are indeed, ooh. Right, bright light. Uh, okay, I'll we'll back off. We'll use the connector as uh, the group here, and uh, so we have reactors. Uh, we did not have any reactors before. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so reactors. Save. Uh, we need inventory, but we do not need them independently on there. Um, we have lights. But the question is, what are these? So let us turn those both back on and see what they were. Excuse me. All right, we are sitting at right around an hour now, so I think this is a good place to stop, uh, at least for this uh, particular episode, and then we will uh, come back and resume where we were before. So, uh, this is Kenji Tiger signing out, and we will see you for the next adventure next time.